things that were very important for you were to offer greater value in terms of price positioning relative to the quality. And as you said in particular you wanted to improve the quality. And it was really nice to be able to touch, for example, all these beautiful ocean watches that you've done with great gem setting and so on and see that the quality has really improved. And when you look at it, the, the quality of the stones are so luminous, the quality of the touch and feel of the cases, the quality yes. of the movements, because you're using blanc pan movements in many of these. I mean, yeah. have, have we seen the full measure of what you'd like to achieve? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to say that we, we are never at the end. Sure. Because it would be a, a problem if we would be at the end. <laughs> no, yeah. but I think we did a, a great job in the last five years. Yes. Mm -hmm with the help of Blompa, yes. a lot, of with the technical uh, people from Blompa, with all the movements they are developing for us, with the help of the case construction, sure. for sure. Yes. Um, I have to say that also our people improved very much with the setting of diamonds. Amazing. Yes. yes. You know, it yeah. was extraordinary to see this moon face that was made in sapphire, yes. and then to have the diamonds set inside of that moon face, and these with these tiny prongs. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, ah, the yes, one you currently on your wrist right now. I mean, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with um, this idea, and then to be able to achieve it technically? Look, I have, for, for me, Harry Winston is one thing, it's diamond. Sure. So, the watches, for sure, the women watches, they should show they are Harry Winston. Yes. So somehow it has a, it has always to have this clandoy yes. to say we are jewelers, of course. Mm -hmm. we are watchmakers, yes. And I think that here we have a combination of ocean, which is a waterfall. Mm -hmm. So how to interpret a waterfall? Yes. Uh, with diamonds which fall down. Mm -hmm. So now they had to create and to try to have a special setting Incredible. to achieve this. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Because it's like you're seeing through and you see the moon. Yes. Through yes. The, you have a cascade the of diamonds. Yes. Yes. You did this some years ago yes. as well with the avenue collection yes. and you had that. Yes. Oh, that was yes. beautiful. Yes. I think it's amazing what you said that although you you know you work closely with Long Pan to like push forward innovations, but you're doing it in a completely yes. different way from them, especially in terms of technique, like with the diamonds. I remember last year we saw this beautiful uh, perforated like a dondella yes. with yes. mother of pearl dial. Very nice. Always very innovative techniques that we see. This is the distant. DNA of the different brands. Yes. You see, we are using the movement and the capacity and the knowledge and everything which Blompa can offer us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because Harry Winston is neither a, a watch movement um, producer, yes. producer mm -hmm. yes. nor really a, a, a real watchmaker in construction of the cases. No, it's, it's about so emotion. we are using this yes. from Swatch Group, yes. from wherever we can get the knowledge, like our wonderful writing machine That's great. this year. Yes. So we took the knowledge, yes. we took the writing machine from Jacques Drow, right. mm -hmm. and we put it into a creation from Harry Winston. Yes. So the face is Harry Winston, right. mm -hmm. the heart is Jacques Drow, yes. mm -hmm. which is the best thing could happen to the watches of, of mm -hmm. Harry Winston. Yes. Exactly. So I think we are very near to develop now new creations yes. without having to try to get better in the older ones. Of course, mm -hmm. of course. There's also a wonderful sort of emotional language related to timekeeping, related to retrograde mechanisms. Yes. And I yes. think it's really lovely when you're looking at the dial, you know, it, this is a very strong statement that it's not about chasing time uh, and from a traditional perspective. It's not that you're a businessman or an astronaut, you have other brands in the group that yes, these are for. Yes, for sure. It's about looking at time and having the pleasure of enjoying a moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see this beautifully expressed with your retrograde seconds indicator, including in that ocean watch with the extraordinary invisible yes. water fall setting of the diamonds, which is a magnificent piece. But also you see this in um, really cool New Zealand watch as well, mm -hmm. that has two retrograde indicators coming from the <laughs> center. Uh, that's really cool. You know, you look at it and it's just all about emotion, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all about yeah. emotions. I have to say that our whole business is emotion. My yeah. father always said we are selling emotions, so we have to be emotional. Incredible. So this yeah. is for sure the beginning of the story. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think what is sometimes annoying Mark really with Blompa he yes. says you can do things which I never could do with my brand right. because Blompa is so strongly 
clean. Yes. Mm-hmm. That if they would do designs like this, yes. everybody would say, I don't know if this is really the DNA of, sure. <laughs> of Gompa. Sure. Sure. And sometimes he says, yeah, you can do this with Harry Winston. Yes. <laughs> I said, so sometimes he's joking. He's, uh, I have to say that the people from Blompa, they're, they're helping us oh, very, yes. very much. And, and, and yeah. they, you know, there's a lot of exchange of ideas yes. and so on. Yes. And that entire team. And we are helping great. them with women watches. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> yes. That's a great idea. Yes. Because it's such a masculine brand, yes. you know. Um, yes. And you look at it this year, it's all about the diamond yeah, watches, yeah. No, no, which I love. We help you know, them have, to yeah. develop a watch and we help them also on the set from from oh, these women great. watches mm-hmm. because, yeah, this is Swatch Group. We, we we take from the brands what we can use for other brands, but the DNA of the brand has to stay the DNA of the exactly. brand. Exactly. Yeah. you know, this is really what I love about your group, right? And and you look at, I mean, not to say anything, but you, you know, there have been clearly some mistakes in the past from other groups where they go into competition with one another and they all try to make their own uh, movements, which is totally unnecessary, incidentally, because honestly, some of those brands don't need to have their own no. movements, you know? No. And actually, the consumer doesn't no. care related yes. to those brands. And I think what I've always admired so much about what your dad had created and what you guys continue to do so well, it's that let's use everything in the best way possible, but let's also be intelligent so we can take advantage of sure. the you know the, the larger scale to give better value to the consumer. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and I think this is the most important. Look, we have the luck that Blancpa is developing for us yes. movement. So yes. it's really developed for Harry Winston. It's a Blancpa movement. But why should we begin to develop our own movement? Of course, movement? it doesn't make sense no. at all. You no. know? It will cost much more. Yes. First, we would have to begin from zero. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it would take time. Yes. This, this was a challenge with Harry Winston initially, you know, was, yes. was, and one of the reasons why it kind of didn't work was because they had to buy everything from other yes. people. It yes. didn't work for two reasons, because then the cost structure of the watch becomes very expensive. Yeah. And the, the other thing that, that you have a problem with is then you, it's very hard for after-sales service and it, because you don't have the capacity as a yes. manufacturer to go and fix it. And that's why it made so much sense for you guys to take it over. Yeah, yeah. and the problem was also, you know, we had a lot of... Co- Consumers, they were disappointed. Yes. They bought very expensive yes. watches. They never really worked. No. Mm-hmm. They had to bring them back. Yes. They had to wait for two years to get after sale service done. Yes. Still, some of them are still waiting <laughs> <laughs> on finishing of the watches. So. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. And then yeah. we had also really clients which were consumer from the jewelry side. Yes. They were disappointed. So yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. But you know, talk to me a little bit about that first transition because that was not easy. Going from everything that was essentially outsourced as a movement, yes. you know, to going to everything to develop to become in house. That was probably quite a painful experience because I know that was a year when Mark looked really tired. Yes. <laughs> you know? and, and, uh, and, and, but you had to do it because yes. once you clean it up, once you made it all something that was purely a Swatch Group product, yes. then yes. you could really start to bring the yeah. quality and the reliability. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. we had that uh, two years. Two years they were very tough yes. because we had really to change the construction of the cases because yes. you can't only put the movement out and take another one in. Totally. It's not working. Yes. And uh, in the meantime, we had to struggle and try to do new dials and yes. things like this yes. uh, to live on. Yes. So you know, and, and two years is, were very strong. Yeah, yes. This is an important message. Also, it's like you know, there's always people out there that have a dream to start a watch brand or whatever like that. It's one thing for you to want to impart your vision of what a watch should be. It's another thing from the perspective of a consumer to buy that watch and then have something that's like, okay, but who do I turn to if it doesn't yes. work, right? Yes. And that's super important, yes. you know? Yes, mm-hmm. yes, for sure. And and mostly with expensive watches. Especially, you know, especially. But even, you know, let's, I mean, I have nothing but the greatest respect for what Reynold and his team are doing yes. at Omega for because sure. they are trying to improve yes. the quality in so many ways for a watch that is like, hey, you know, let's say an yes. accessible price, yes. you know? And that's yes. great also. Yeah, but I think if you buy something which you like, and yes. you should like yes. your watch when you buy it. Of course. Mm-hmm. You want to wear it and it should work. And because it doesn't but matter how beautiful it is, yes. the moment it breaks and it frustrates yes. you, mm-hmm. you're not gonna love it anymore. But right. It's like the cars. Yeah, yes. Uh, yes. If, if you buy a smart car yes. or a Rolls Royce, you want you want to use it, no? Yeah, but exactly, yeah. and there's no reason why you should have to compromise, right? Yeah. There's no reason why you, you yeah. can't have something that's stunning 
but at the same time, and, and it does, you can rely on it completely. You know, the worst thing is sometimes people invest in these very expensive watches from whoever, you yes. know, small small brands or independents, and then it breaks down once or twice or even three times, and then that person. It, it, it actually affects his whole perception of yes. watches in general, yes. and that's dangerous, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, and I, I mean, we also saw it with our people in our salon. Yes. They were very much afraid to push for watch sales because they had big clients, they bought jewelry, and then they didn't want to disappoint them. They exactly. said, if I push that this client is buying one of our expensive watches, I know he will be disappointed and come back. And I can't serve him. Yes. So first, we had to make our own people this confident. Is this is great. To push to sell. Now. Yes, because they, then they know that because yes. each each salesperson is putting their own reputation yes. On, yes. online. You know. Yes. And they and they want to make sure that that client is going to have For nothing sure. but a hundred percent enjoyment of that. I'm sorry, Susan. I think I interrupted you. You had some questions you wanted. To... No, I just wanted to, because I was reminded by the candy on the table. I just wanted to ask you something <laughs> quite fun that we saw this year, which is the you know the candy the candy, candy, candy watch, yes. which is something very yes. beautiful. And also, I think we saw something new in terms of the adventuring color, the chocolate adventure. Yes. That was great. Something quite exceptional yes. as well. Cool. So, so you hear it here. You can have full emotional enjoyment of a watch today, along with full satisfaction in terms of its reliability and I think that's what's amazing about what this group and what this, their brands achieves and what Madame Hayek and, and, and everyone here does you know um, whether it's the most access accessibly priced watch you know I've, I think I bought must have been five Omegas in the last you know year and every single one of them works perfectly right and that's all you very want very good from a so watch. we are very happy <laughs> yeah exactly you know and I, and I don't baby them I wear them jogging I go to yes. spin class I, I put them all you know all the time you know and that's the thing it's like you know everyone wants to, to have a watch brand right that's fine because you want to have a watch brand that's okay but think about us the consumer we need yes. to have a satisfaction in terms of the watches yeah. that we know they're going to work and that's what you guys yeah. do so well you know thank you very much thank you and if you talk about the candy yes. watch there will be a collection, jewelry collection, coming Ooh, out together nice. with the watch called Candy. Yes. So it's, first. <laughs> it's a combination. Yes. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. Simple. Yeah. I love it. Ah, I think fun. you will. You will like it. It's a very nice, uh, very Something nice collection. Great. Something fun and sweet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Mike, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. Thank you.